everybody, welcome to a box with us. And today I'll be opening something we picked up in Japan. My husband watched the show long, long ago. It's called Kono Suba. I never really watched it. I didn't watch it. Um, but he said it was really hard to find toys. So when we were shopping around Japan, we went to a lot of secondhand shops. So all these were bought at a secondhand shop. Uh, you'll actually see it says unopened on some of them. I'll show you the box in detail in a sec. So I'll be opening each one. Um, so these are also by Nendroid. These are Nendroid. These are sitting ones. And they're called S <laughs> Swachow. Swachow. And these are the standing ones. The faces are the exact same, but I'll open them so you can compare. Let me just show you quickly the box. Sorry for the glare. This is the main character, Kazum Kazuma. Nendroids are really cute. Uh, I know a lot of people like to change the parts and dress it up differently. Megumin. Oh, but just a quick. We went to so many secondhand shops in Japan and we were able to find. And then he didn't realize these were exact same faces or he probably wouldn't have bought both, but just a difference is sitting on a chair or not. Can't remember how much we paid for them, but. They weren't cheap because they are older. All of them were unopened. So in Japan, you'll see a lot of uh, secondhand shops with a lot of unopened stuff. My husband opened that if you want to see that part. But a lot of unopened things because uh, people, I guess, just buy them and keep them. Again, there's a lot of arcade machines, so people probably win them and they don't open them and they sell it to the secondhand shop. Aqua? Darkness. I think darkness was the hardest one to find. Or was it not this one? I remember we went to so many shops. He said, I just need one more to complete because we already bought two of them there. And finally, we found it. We went to Yokohama, Osaka, Tokyo. I think he found this one in Yokohama, a secondhand shop there. Yeah, so they're all really nice. So I'll be opening each one. Maybe I'll open this one because he didn't find the sitting one. This I'll open it, lay out the pieces so you can see it. I'll probably put timestamps so you could go to um, each character so you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want to see, if you want to see a specific character. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to open this one first because he doesn't have a sitting one to compare with. It's Kazuma, the main character of the show. So let's look at the figures. Very cute. There you go. The it was all covered in plastic, like, to protect it from, I guess, rubbing and scratching. I always find that in Androids, the parts are very easily, um, are very loose as they come off. I guess it's because people like to change its parts. You can change its faceplate. You just move this part. Uh, I'll just show you quickly. Because I'm not going to show you the other ones. There's just too many. It'll be a long video. Unless you want me to. But, yeah, you just can move the faceplate. There are two other ones it comes with. There, Sorry. The hair back in, turns, he has a little cape, nice detail, nice paint job, I don't see much, many flaws or if any. Okay, legs don't really bend, so that's why he kept put these in sitting positions, I guess that's why they came out with the other ones. Just move the arm, it's stand, it comes with the stand. There you go, two faces. I guess the surprised shock face. You see the paint very nice. And this one, I, oops, this one kind of looks sneaky, evil, evil smile. Comes with three other arms. Two of them are bent at the elbow. There you go. There's one that goes straight out, I guess, so he shoots out some kind of blast. Here's the blast, if you want to see, it just goes in here. There you go. Okay, and two other hands. This one to hold its sword, you can see the big hole to make a fist. There you go. And this one is a smaller one, not for the sword, but for this piece. 
I didn't know what this was. I had to ask my husband. And then he showed me a video. What Apparently, he has a power to steal. And he steals the most prized possession. And usually for the girls, it's underwear. So this is underwear. I didn't know that. He steals whatever. So he stole a sword. Someone's head, apparently. Here's a sword. It goes in the other hand I showed you. Nice, shiny. Pretty good paint job. Let me see. Yep. Then one leg that bends at the knee. And extra part. In case it breaks. Because it is a ball joint, is it? No, it isn't. Oh, it's not a ball joint? Oh, yes, it is. See? That's what I thought. And, oh, let me just show you the instructions quickly. You can pause at any moment, any time to just read it. Look at the pictures of what it comes with, how it goes on a stand. Shows you how to change the face plate, the head. The size of the Japanese side. We paid 54.80 yen for it. So about $54 Canadian. And that's it. So I'm gonna, that's the, the main character. And I'm gonna now open the other characters. I'll start with maybe Darkness, because it's right in front of me. And I'll put the sitting one and the standing Android to compare. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I opened the Nendroid standing and sitting um, darkness. Let me show you the box for the sitting one. Just the inside so you can see. There's instructions. There's not much because all it does is sit. It doesn't have any accessories to change parts. So let me show you the comparison so you can see she's sitting. And this is the other one. Size is about the same. I found this one's a little darker, like it looked a little tanned or something. Even this part, it's a little different. This little uh, shoulder cover, just a little. And this one looks more yellow, a little yellow hue. Armor looks the same, or her outfit. Boots about the same. So I tried it out. And I was able to change the faceplate on the sitting one with the ones that came with the, the other Nendroid. The only thing that I couldn't change was her body that fits on this one but didn't fit on this one. The peg on the sitting one was too big. So I'll just show you what came with the sitting one. It came with a chair. And this little kind of peg that goes into it. So you could put her sitting and she doesn't fall off. So, no, there's really no difference. If you want sitting, this is all you get. A sitting one, there's no accessory with the blade or the extra faces. But I've seen people buy these. I guess they like to make little scenes of them sitting. And it just goes on to it. Oh, how come it's not going on? Oh, sorry, there we go. And there she goes, sitting. This one is just extra, I guess, like a double-sided tape. And actually, if you want her sitting and not to move, but that's the sitting one. Hold on, let me just adjust. Okay, sorry, I just want to adjust my camera a bit. So this is what you get. You get extra peg for the head. Sorry, and tape and the chair. And that's basically it. So I'll show you the Nendra, the full pack. This one, the this one's kind of loose, I found. Like the hip, it does come apart because you change the body. You could just put this one. It fits nicely. It does not fit on the sitting one. Like I said, this one, the peg is a bit bigger. Oh, that's falling out. Gotta push it. The legs in. There you go. Yeah, I found the this piece. You have to push in her legs and it attaches the hip. But again, you can see there's a little gap. I don't know if you can see in the camera that well. Okay, so the paint job for both of them are just as nice. Oh, yeah, so the pockets, I just noticed, are this part is different. This is more on the side. Yeah, the paint is... A, oh, the chair fell off. So it's okay. A couple of uh, goes over a bit. Not a huge problem. Oh, I fell off the chair. Okay, sit there. And yeah, I don't like this. 
area right here. You can see, I don't know, there's a weird gap. With, and the paint's not the greatest. The shoulder does come off, these little uh, armor. Head pops off, the hair pops off to change the face plate like the other ones. No different. Arms change. Let me show you what it comes. It comes with two faces. There's one. Blushing one, happy blushing, and a worried blushing one. Again, great detail. The paint is really nice on this one. Is that a little dirt? Yeah. A little dust there. Here's her body. You know, just the top half, the top torso, and their peg. You could take off these arms as well. But you can see it's kind of molded to her chest. So it goes perfectly to fit right there. And I assume this arm as well. Two arms. Two hands on, on it already. Pain's not that bad, just going over just a bit. And another hand. This is for her when she wields the sword in front of her. I'll show, I'll probably, yeah, I think I, I'll take a picture. You'll probably see at the beginning of the video when she's holding the sword right uh, facing downwards on the ground. These two little guys, my husband said they fight these guys. They're flying in the air. Looks like, like cabbage to me. Two swords. One she holds, and the other one, I, I saw a picture of her holding it downwards, kind of like posing with it. The stand, this is for darkness. Typical Nandroid stand. And these ones, comes with two round ones and two of these. Goes in, and it's for those little green guys. I'm not sure what their monster's called. I Like I said, I never watched the show. I just enjoy reviewing the toys of different shows that my husband watched. So it just goes... Oh, hold on, sorry. There. And you could pose with it while she's on the stand. Just like that. So this is just as nice. Oh, man, whenever I pull one of these off, it seems loose after. So that's a quick comparison of the sitting standing. <clears throat> For me, I think I'd rather take the standing just because you get more accessories. But I do see a lot of people take pictures of these little Nendroid scenes where they're like like sitting there with food or they change their clothes or outfits. So people probably like that. Oops. Oh, that popped off. Whatever. Yeah. See? I'll show you how big the peg is. I might as well just show you how it does not fit. Peg is too big. So this one, I guess, is a little wider. That's why I didn't switch. But you can change. I tried changing the arms. They do interchange for the both dendroids and the faceplate, just not that top torso. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the next one. I'm not sure which one. Megami is her name. Megami, yeah, Megumin and Aqua. So I'll open one. So that's um, darkness that I have just reviewed. Be right back. Now before I open up the other one, the other two. Um, characters I want to just give you a quick review of while I was changing the parts and taking the pictures I did forget to mention that darkness arms does move like has a little elbow joint there while the main character didn't I have to check the other ones I always find Android a little frustrating because the parts fall off so easily I did notice that the how you could change the toilet this bottom part kept falling off very easily I didn't even have to move it it falls off and the arms the little, sh where is it? These little, um, I guess like the armor part is a little difficult to take off, especially this one, but once you get it off, it's fine. The arms do fall off very easily. They're so loose. I don't know. But the head's fine. It's just the the waist, this part where the bottom comes off, and the arms was uh, really tricky to pose because it kept falling off. But other than that, it's fine. It's a cute toy. And here's a sitting one again. I just wanted to give you a quick review of how it was with the uh, pieces and changing the parts. And the swords were fine. Again, maybe I just don't know how to change them very well because I don't have many dendroids. But my husband did say, uh, they say if it's loose, which happens very commonly apparently, people put glue on it and they keep moving it. 
so it doesn't set the glue, but it just keeps moving it until it kind of dries, but it's not stuck. I don't know. This is what he said. I mean, you could Google it. You could watch other videos. Maybe people are doing that and see if it does help. But that's my my uh, view of this. It just was too loose, the bottom and the arms. It just kept falling off. Even if I didn't touch it much, it just fell. But it's really cute. So I'll go ahead and start uh, reviewing the other two. So next I have up is Aqua. So we have the sitting one here and the standing one. I'll compare the two, exact same faces again. They look basically the same, except one sitting. The face, the hair, it's about the same. The shading. See, same. So there's no diff. oh my goodness, see, I tell you these things fall off so easily. Okay, there we go. So it's really if you prefer sitting or standing, but this one looks lighter here. Just you could probably see that. Yeah, I could see it on the camera. It's a little lighter, but not much difference. And the face is exactly the same. Very nice paint job again for both. The bow is exactly the same. This one looks a little darker. If you look at the blue, it's a different. This is a darker blue. So. It's <clears throat> Excuse me, very slight difference. Oh, the skirt. This part is like clear, while this one's more uh, opaque. It's, you can see through it, but it's more like a foggy, while well, this is clear. But really, it's quite similar. Some people like the sitting one, so they could uh, do poses with the chair fell. But again, parts change the same. Does this one's elbows move? No. The last one, darkness, the elbows moved, but this one doesn't. Oh, I didn't show the paper. Let me show it quickly. Did I show darknesses? I'll show it just in case I did. Oops. If you want to pause to look, it shows you like here which hand goes, will hold the weapon. So M, you know, show which one's hand M here. The Japanese side, if you want to just see. I don't think I showed darkness. Let me show it quickly. There you go. You want to see darkness? And pause at any time. Okay. So again, has a chair. Peg. Oh, Kevin, pick it up. There we go. Goes there and she'll sit right there and I'll plug it right into the back there. Okay. I've been trying to film this video. I So far, it started at like early morning. It's late at night. Oh. Okay, sorry, I dropped the chair. I was trying to put this little peg in the back here, but it doesn't fit. It's a little too big to fit. So I can't, maybe I'm gonna try to widen that hole later. Fits here, so that's why it flung off. And it is easier to put it on with the head popped off. So, but even with the head popped off, it didn't fit. Oh. Oh, I'm missing the back leg. Okay, I'll find that in a sec. Probably dropped it. Let me show you the Nendroid. Again, you already saw this one. Here are the two faces. One sad one. And one happy with tears in her eyes, I guess. Like, worried. <clears throat> she doesn't... Oh, I was saying, her arms don't bend like darkness where the elbows it moves at the elbow oh, look you see the bottom fell off again so but it comes with more arms so it came with these ones where it's bent at the elbow and these one I guess you could switch it and it is a pain to switch some of these I find and one bent leg well darkness didn't have extra legs that were bendable 
or was bent at the leg. Here's the extra hand that used to hold that staff. Extra part. Hands holding the flag. Oops. I mean, sorry, holding fans. Very cute. Small. And these, I never saw the show, but apparently hooks on. There's a little slit there. I don't know if you can see. There you go. It goes right there. I don't know exactly why it's like that, but yeah. And the stand. So again, the arms pop off. The head, if you want to pop it off. Same as all the other Nendroids. They're all very similar. Just pop off the hair and then the face comes off. And you can switch it. Arms. This one doesn't seem as loose as the other one. Again, the legs do fall off. This one. Yeah, and the hair, it might be... Yeah, you might be able to put it in here. You might have to take off its head if you need to put it on tighter. But there, it's still a very nice paint job. I think I like the Figmas and Rebel Techs more than Nendroids. It's cute. I'm not saying these aren't cute. But, and the paint job's really nice. But I like the those ones better. Quality's better. So I'm going to do some poses. I'll let you know what I think about it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be very similar. I'll give you a quick review as soon as I do a few poses. I'll be right back. So I just did a bunch of poses with the standing android. You can't do much with the sitting one anyway. And what I find with the nendroid, same as darkness, I haven't tried the last one, uh, Megumin or something, is this uh, hip thing keeps falling off. It just is so sensitive. I don't like the way these are made, I guess. Oops. So it just kind of pops off like that and goes through, and then you got to poke through it. It's so loose. Like, it just comes off so easily. So I don't like that. The stand, sometimes it might be easier to just take off her head because the hair is so big, the head's so big, so it's really hard to get it in there sometimes. So sometimes I had to remove the head to get the arms in easier or the, the stand because it was just in its way. But other than that, it's it's still a cute toy. Uh, parts are very simple to change. I mean, if you could get it in right. The chair, remember how I said it didn't fit? I managed to finally get it in. So I'm not going to take it off that right now. But let's go ahead, open the last one. And then we could just end up, uh, I'll give you a final review. And you could see all of them at once. Be right back. Okay, so here's the last character I opened. It is Megumin. And she looks like she's like a wizard or something with this hat. So let me show... The hat does come off easily. So it's, nothing's really holding it in. It just lays on top. So this one was easier to put on a chair. Kind of popped right in. Same face. This one. Details same. With the outfit. The bandage on the knee. This one, the belt is loose, but this one is not. It's right on her. You cannot move it, but this one you could adjust a bit. The cape I put on. The paint job I found on this sitting one was not as nice. I'll show you, for example, a hat. There we go. This one seems sharper, while this one, a lot of it was bleeding through. If you can see carefully, oh, what was that? Oh, something just fell off the hat, the little yellow tip. Anyways, yeah, this one, I found even part of her body. Let me put this back on. It just popped off so easily. I didn't even do anything. Yeah, there we go. The hat was an example of the paint. I could see a little difference. Oh, this one's actually the bleeding through right here on her chest area, this yellow part. And this part of her dress looks a little sloppier while this one is more detailed. So the hat's not as nice on that one. Maybe you could switch it around. Since I, well, we have both of them, so I don't know what he'll do. This one, they didn't paint as nice on the bottom of the dress. While this one, you can see it's a lot more um, clean. The cape leaning through a bit. I'll show you the cape on this one too. Where is it? This one's a bigger cape. Flares up more. 
So yeah, I didn't find the paint on this as nice. But the face is still nice for both of them. Very similar. This one, it looks a little darker, the hair. Yeah. Okay. So, they come with both hats. They both come with the hat, just lays right on top. It's a really big hat. And this one, again, comes with that little double-sided tape you want to stuck onto the chair. Here's the two faces that comes with an android. Nice. Fortunately, when I open the box, there is something missing from this set. I guess they didn't tell us. It's this thing. I looked, I double-checked the boxes, I went through everything. Couldn't find it, so it must have been taken out. It was from a second-hand shop. The, uh, I don't know which shop we bought it from. Some of the places it says unopened, new. This one didn't have anything on it, so maybe someone took it out. Maybe the person who sold it took it out, and uh, per the store who bought it from them didn't realize it was missing. So it was probably in the back of the pack. So I showed you the hat, the cape, the two faces. These, that goes... There's a little little uh, spot here and here that apparently there's a little groove in the hair that you can stick it in. Oh, there it is. Let me show you. I'll take off the hair. Oh, these parts fall off so easily. Hold on. Let me close this. Okay. So you can see right there, there's a little spot for on each side for these ones. So you could just kind of put it in. Like that, and it kind of rests right against her face. So it's best to take off the hair first, kind of like that, see? But it's best to take off the hair first to obviously put it on or it's just gonna give you a lot of trouble. So I'll do that in a second. But yeah, you stick into those little grooves in there. Take off the head, oh, these are on the ball joint, so make sure it's on, there you go. Comes with a set of arms here. Go so the arm is bent again. These ones, uh, her elbows do not bend, so that's why they have these extra arms. Unlike darkness, it does. Here's another one. No extra hands. This little purple orb. It looks like it goes again. I'm missing it right there, but I'm missing that big thing, which I'm surprised that's gone because this is actually the stand to hold that up. Where am I supposed to get it? Is it a piece of paper or something? I don't know. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, because when I was looking at the... Here's the booklet. I didn't show you. Yeah, there. I'm missing that. I looked everywhere. Unless it kind of rolled away. I don't see it. I looked everywhere. Okay, so that's the Japanese side. The English side. There you go. See, it shows you how to put on the, what I just showed you, the grooves and the hair. So I'll just show you that. And the stand, yep, these two parts. And I don't think I mentioned, so usually the stands are like this for the Nendroid. But for uh, Aqua, hers was like this. It's a different shape arches here and straight here. So hers was a little different stand. So yeah, this was supposedly for that round red beam thing or shield. Yeah, so this is kind of useless without it. I mean, I'll double check, but I, I really went through everything. So I'll do a few poses, take some pictures, I'll get back to you, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing. This one, it doesn't seem as loose around the hip because it's a one piece dress, there you go. So this, I won't have to worry about the legs or the hip part falling off, which is great. I think the tricky part probably for me is putting on those little um, grooves and putting on these. But let's see how it goes. It just kind of goes under here. We'll have to take off the hair and kind of goes right there. Yeah. So let me do a few poses. And I'll come back and do the final... Um, review and show you all the Nendroids all together. Be right back. 
Okay, so I've done all the poses. I've shown all the nendroids. The last one I did was this. Posing was fine. It was really hard for her to hold this wand, staff. It just kept falling out because I guess the hand's too small. They didn't make a curve or grip hard enough. And these were the things that goes on her, over her eyes. It wasn't too bad to put on actually. But I did find this set, this last uh, Megaman, I think. I'm sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. The paint wasn't very consistent. It was not a, it was much more sloppier than the other ones. But overall, it was a nice set. Unfortunately, this was missing a piece. All bought from a secondhand shop uh, in Japan. I mean, there's so many around. You find great deals. A lot of times, if there's a missing piece, it does say what's missing in the box. So maybe they didn't catch this one, that there was a missing piece, or really, I did not lose it. But honestly, I've been looking. I don't see it anywhere. Um, a lot of accessories. So the standing androids has a lot more accessories compared to the sitting one. Sitting one just, she probably had the most because she had the hat and cape. But everyone else just had chair and the extra piece for the the joint and stickers. These ones, if you want double sided sticker to have her seated and not shift around. But definitely get the standing one if you want all the nice accessories. Sitting, I could see. I think I've seen. A shop that around me that they have the same ones because they have a little table for them. They set up all these little like scenes for them, and they actually have little clothes for them to change. I always keep interchanging them, but it was great fun. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would to do all of them, but I really wanted to open the whole set to show everybody. Um, like I said, I paid about fifty five thousand four hundred eighty yen for each one. I'm not sure about the sitting one. I think the sitting one's about the same. I assume if you bought these new, the sitting one would be cheaper since there's a lot less accessories compared to the standing ones. But it is definitely cute. I prefer other figures, but these are really cute as well. Too many sets to start up. I have so many other figures to open up. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I hope to do more unboxing. I do have a lot more. I think he wanted me to do a Metro, my husband. All these are my husband's. I'm just opening because I really enjoy opening them, trying to pose them, check out all these different uh, parts and uh, the quality of them. So I do have fun doing that. He likes to look at them and display them around the house. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye.